Welcome to the land of Latifa. Welcome to Africa, the land of your ancestors. Your decision to pay homage to the land of Africa, from where your ancestors were taken, is a real noble one. Your desires to be fulfilled. We shall make sure to have a very wonderful each free stay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. I am indeed very happy to be here. The hospitality from the airport to this place has been tremendously awesome. The picture they paint of Africa and all the parts of the world is so different from what I've seen so far. I hope to enjoy my little stay here and then take you all back with me to the Caribbean island of my, you know, my marriage and college. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like it this way. Managers come and go. I've seen who is who in this country, and the manager's order ends at his office. My order is here, and my order now is get this food ready before they finish fast. Tell me whatever it is. As the saying goes, a problem shared is half solved. Wendy, this tour guide agency thing is not working for me. I can barely make an income or even feed myself. I haven't paid you in three months. I don't even know where my next income is going to come from. But I'm not complaining. That doesn't make it right. I should be paying you for working for me, not you taking full stuff from my mother's place to feed me. Whatever I do, I do for my heart. I came here to work and earn money. And I met a struggling boss in a struggling agency, but I'm not walking away. I'm gonna continue cooking for you as long as my mom gives me food. Hoping that one day this place will pick up. Look, Wendy, the truth is this agency has no future. I love this talk I jumped so much. That is why I studied history and anthropology in school. But I now discovered that I was wrong about the choice of profession. I'm in debt. I'm in a hopeless situation. Show guide agency has to be closed down. I'm sorry. No, the Sean Tor agency can never close. It can never close. It's already been closed. I was just thinking of a way to you. What? Hello? It's for you. Hello? Yes, yes, your messenger here. Yes, the best tour guide around. I have all the destinations in my palm, sir. Yes, yes. I know everywhere like the back of my hand, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Now? Okay, okay. Thank you. Can you believe it? It's a call for a big job. Oh, my God. And guess what? The call came from the whole Black Hotel. 
I'm meeting somebody very important and I'm going to be the tour guide. Who to ever sent my information to the master? Have you find the sent? Thank you. Thank you. Oh God. Okay. Last. I did. Yes. You did what? I did. I sent them the information and I sent the same information to five star hotels in Ghana and other travel agencies. I knew this day would come <laughs> and I'm glad it did. I know that you all are surprised that we are sitting and eating together for the very first time on the same table. I was more terrified and surprised, my noble lady. Life is a tinder box or a fantasy, depending on the angle at which you look at it. Life is much more than meets the ordinary. I have been celebrated and enjoyed all my life. And I thought, why not? sit here and be with the people that I care most about if I sent to the next level of my life. Well, my lady, you know, I never imagined, even in my wildest dream, that I would be sitting and chatting so happily with my future queen and even sharing you with her on the same table. That is the reason why I decided to be the To escape from the usual norm. To experience the ordinary. I know getting married and becoming the future queen is a huge task. I have a huge task ahead of me. But I thought, why not spend it with your most loyal aides? So I decided that I would spend it with you guys, my most loyal aides, and come have a breath of fresh air. Are you okay, my lady? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Um, of course I am. I'm very good. It's just that sitting on this table today with all of you just reminded me of the times that I used to sit with home with my dad or just me alone. But now I have a family. I chose you guys as my family. My queen, I am a bit highly enthused. Without perplexity that you reign or share in the move secretary. Please, we are the dining. You've been beaten yourself a thousand times over and over and over again. I know that the future of Hyena depends on my name. I know it. But like I said, when I get there, I will promote you as the chief media commissioner. And all of you, to various degrees of performance. So cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs>
I thought you'd be here by now. I called the office and they told me you had left your phone. And they, they, they gave me your mobile number. Say, say, I'll be there very soon. It's just that my means of transport is in them. Ah. Are you not coming in your company car? Or a taxi? I can hear you breathing heavy. What, what is going on? Say, say, what, what I'm using is, is faster than any taxi or, or, or car. I'll, I'll be there in a the jiffy. I'm just a pull away. I am only contracting you because my first arrangement failed. And then also because you indicated in your proposal that your agency runs 24 7. And that you had all the facilities and the manpower to run this business. What is happening? No, no, no. I'm, I'm the right one for the jobs at least. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm coming, sir. No, no, don't give the any. Don't, don't give the job to anybody. Thank you. Greatest undoing is abandoning our planned trip to Africa on the eve of our departure. Who told you that Africa is not safe? Who told you that the air is polluted? This place is the only place I've met the happiest people on earth. I know the real reason you abandoned the trip for you. The reason I am praying and hoping that my ancestors will aid me in the Hello, Gray. Yeah, I'm okay. Listen, like I told you, you don't even need any vaccination. Yeah, don't worry. When I come, you can see the pictures. Spare me all the talk.
Hello, hello, sir. Hello. Sir, I, I, I'll be there soon, sir. I'm, I'm almost there. I can, I can see the building, sir. I'm coming. I'm coming. man carrying bicycle was making his way here and when I tried to stop him he was insisting you have a you have a contract with him and that and I threw him away knowing fairly well that you don't you don't do business with such people so um why is he he must have gone hanging around he said his name was uh, Sean and, and that is from one agency or something. That is, he is coming to take our important guest out. Jesus Christ. Where is he? That is where I realized he had a mental problem. And I threw him out. Let's go.
locked on. Lisa, did you say you know this man? Um, yes, sir. He was our S master for the rest of the evening. And you can vouch for his character? Unless he has changed. What I know of him then was a man of high integrity and dignity. Sean, what can you say to that? I love this job of my life and I'm ready to do well. Well, you lied in your proposal, which I forgive you for. Because we all lie once in a while in the market. I expected to see you in a state of the path of the movie, coming from a prospering agency, not with a broken down bicycle drenched in sweat and smelling like a goat. How do you expect to satisfy the taste of our noble, distinguished guest? Sir, a trial will convince you. I know the most exotic places, and, and, and the country's history is in my palm, please. I am the right man for this job. I need this job, please. Let me do this, I beg you. I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry. Our guest is not the type that we can use for an experiment or a camp. Look, I swore to her father, the king of Hyana, that I will guarantee her safety and happiness. Your agency has no roots, and it does not have what it takes. Look, she will even throw up to see you. Look, Sean, this is no ghetto business. Look, we need a more reputable agency to handle this business. Excuse me. Sir, 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 sir. This is for Mara, right? What about showing her the grave of Asem Akin, the great warrior and hunter whose generation can be traced to Hyana? And whose grave lies in the only man I inherited from my father? Sean? Are you real? It looks like you are real. Look, her father talked about the same thing. Except that he said no historian has been able to trace it. <laughs> Sir, I'm a walking history. I know much more than those in air-conditioned offices and cars. I just haven't had the chance. Maybe this is just not my time. If you need me, you can call me. Please, don't go. Don't go. Please, come on. Don't go. Please, come on. Lisa, I'll call James. Let him take him up to the washroom and clean him up. I'll go to my room and get some new clothes in my wardrobe. Sean, we are game. We are game. We are game. Ready. Don't worry, Mr. Manager. The message has been conveyed to her by the secretary. She takes her bath four times in the day, and this is just the second one because of the long hours on flight. And when she's in, she's out of this world, so there's no problem. I would. to you the man who knows this town and country like a palm of his hand. The moving history encyclopedia. The man who is going to be your tour guide. Mr. Sean Mensah. Sean, our distinguished guests. Princess Latifa of Miami. The lady who is going to be married and crowned the queen of Payana in just a couple of days. The lady who thought it wise to visit the land of her ancestors 
and receive its blessings. The queen, whose glorious reign the people of Hyana await. It will be my pleasure to enhance your leisure, my beautiful. I'm honored. The honor is mine. I'll be privileged to send you. So where do we go from here, Sean? Well, there are a lot of places in mind. Hence, there's no time. I'll say all of them in the car, but it all depends on my lady's destination of choice. To the limo then? To the limo! I'm with the guest and we're in the middle of a show. What show? You're in a show with her already? She's a performer. She's been entertained by a flutist. Thank God. <laughs> I hope everything is going on well. Oh, it's, it's, it's going fine. You know, of all the places I suggested, she chose the house of Tamba, the local flutist. You know his flute scares away the evil spirit. Okay, I wish you all the best and I... I... You what? Never mind. Um, I'll tell you at the perfect time. Okay? Talk to you later. <laughs> Just gonna tell you about you.
in and feel free. I invited you anyway, so just feel free. Okay. Let's keep the issues of the game. Never mind. Sit down. I invited you. So, tell me. I've heard so much about all these African tales and folk laws and everything. Tell me what this song is like to help me to sleep. So I'm going to tell you a story about my mother. Okay. So it was like, was he climbing on top of the wall? Like, exactly. Was he <laughs> Why did you keep me waiting this long? Um, I stopped by the shopping mall today, this. It's um... No, I have to go now. Uh, uh, wait, uh, are you going to open it and see what's inside? No, I'm already late. The lady's waiting. Oh, please just wait a second. I'll open it.
So this is a crowd. Why is many happened by the government? Well, the government people have moved to Africa and they have been in Nigeria and there's all the Now, the early types, man, were normally fishermen and they lived by the coast. Now, because of urban modernization, because Accra is the gateway to Africa, it is now being inhabited by people from all walks of life and different cultures. You're the primary asset of this. Yes, because it's the same here that the Meaning, no matter the difficulties there, we still have to make us happy. Difficulty is everywhere, even in America or Europe or any other part of the world. The richest men are still in pursuit of happiness, and they are still working for the Well, I'm still working because I am not working. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> This forest is very significant in the history of the city. Now, if you're the Christian faith, it is believed that whatever you ask God here, He can and will answer you. How? It is believed that the angels live on trees, and the trees have ears. So, whatever you ask God, the angels will directly convey it to the Almighty because there are no buildings to obstruct the message. And it works? Of course. It is also believed that some certain African come here to pray before winning elections. Mm. You know, I do have a wish on my own that I want God's plans for me. Really? Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I came here in the first place, not to just be in the Okay, you see the color over there. You can go there and spend time with your man. Anything you ask him in very short terms. Yo. You know what? Let them stay behind. Come with me. Stay behind. There is something about that guy that I don't trust. We have to keep a watchful eye on him. This is wrong. We can't just let you.
No, 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 my lady, you can't sit down, please. There might be dangerous insects on the ground, please. Just sit by my side. No, my lady, I'm afraid I can't. Let me preach. <sighs> Do I look fragile to you? When you look at me, what do you see? Sean, I'm a strong African woman. I am just high knees because the slave masters came and took my forefathers away against their will. You're a noble princess and a queen in waiting. You have to return to the future king safe and sound. Before I was given this job, I was made to sign that not even a scratch should affect your body. Come sit down. If I was following everything that I was told, I don't think I'd be here in the first place. Sit, Sean. <sighs> so, what do you think I should ask God in the first place for you? I don't know what your desires are. Make a choice here. That's because I don't know what your desire is. What are your desires? My queen, I can't begin to tell you now. Besides, we have to go to Cape Coast Castle. You know it's far from Accra. And we have to be back early so that we rest and then... Forget about Cape Coast and the Slave Castle, Sean. I've read enough books about them and I've seen a lot of pictures. I may decide to visit or not. I just enjoy talking to you. A real man, a real African. So, tell me. What are your desires? I want to know everything. Go on, tell me. Um, I... Come closer to me, I can't hear you. You said you were coming here, I thought you knew. How did you get past my security men? There was no security. Maybe I used a different entrance. She better watch it. Who oh, have you? What are you talking about? Are you okay? I saw it in her eyes. Her attitude, everything about her shows that she likes you. You didn't even call me to tell me your birthday thing I was putting in the car. I waited to tell you to say that's your birthday. You are the brightest star I have ever seen in the sky. You are more than just a boss to me. You are the dream I dream. The sun that shines through the day. On this special day of your life, I want to tell you that I am madly in love with you. 
would love to spend the rest of my life with you. Hey, beautiful lady. I've been thinking on how to write this kind of letter to Hey, hey. Now I have a perfect thing to have a perfect thing. Just the love. Hey! Is it a couple with perfect? Hey! Hey! I shall be happy. dollars from them in five days, eh? I will throw you into jail. So don't worry, I am on track. You better be. You better be. I want to build my own hotel. And that is my desire. Talking about desires, what is even my own desire? So are you ready to tell me what your desires are? Do I even know? Today is my birthday and I didn't even know. How I desire I can have somebody who will be there for me while I struggle in life to make other people happy. Somebody who will be there to organize my life and remind me of the things that really matter. What a desire. Yeah. So what about money, wealth, power, women? The things that make the world go around. That's it. I'm working on how to put smiles on people's faces so as to put food on my table. I hope to make a steady growth in life. And I hope that one day I'll be able to go to sleep while thinking about what is the next day. Would you be satisfied with just that? What could be more satisfying than that? Life, I could. What about a leap? A leap to where? To the top, Sean. Life is a gradual process. Does everyone in Africa think of me the way you do? I'll leave off myself. I want you to come and sit close to me. Look me in the eyes and tell me what you need to realize all that you've ever wanted in life.
What kind of nonsense games did you just play? When I called you, it was past 10 and you were still with her. What did you want me to do? What exactly is wrong? Love is wrong. Love is wrong with me. I'm doing everything possible, waiting for you to notice it. I waited to tell you on your birthday. But instead of spending time with me, you were with her. I'm not gonna allow anyone to buy you off. Because I'm so madly unconditional with you. Listen, Wendy, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Please, just bury your emotions. I'm a young man, right? Getting good money from it. And with that, it's going to be more toss for me. So please don't do anything to ruin it. Okay. Please, so first you don't make this business with me. In the movies, I've seen both of them, and I have had someone like you with the money. So far as that doesn't happen. It's gonna be fine if it doesn't. Okay, please. Just the love. In fact, I do you. I'm the biggest boy in this world. In fact, I take care of her. See, I love you. I love you more than that. I love you more than Faust, I love you more than that. I love you more than The one particular thing that I do and love about you is the way you work like a dad. In fact, I love you. I even forgot I traveled all the way just to buy this. See, I didn't buy this with Faust. I didn't even buy with the dollars. See, I was going to take you money. Here is your check for five hundred dollars. The balance of three hundred will be given you when you complete the tour. Um, she's told me that she's very happy with you so far. Her continuous happiness is what will make me hit the jackpot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I hope when she's gone, you'll be calling me for more jobs because a hit hundred dollars in less than a week. It's like a fortune. Very soon, it will begin to look like money you used to buy chewing gum. Just make sure you keep her happy and don't do anything to jeopardize my chances. As long as you don't kick the ball over the bar, I will continue passing it to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we will be going to the Abri Botanical Gardens today. I know, yes. I know. <laughs> Good luck, boy. <laughs> Please tell her that the area we're going to is very mountainous. It's sunny now and there's no guarantee that we're going to have sun all day. It might rain, so please tell her to hurry up. She says I should tell you to come. Why? I think it's worse now. She is still in her night and... And what? It's like her attention is more important now than the journey.
Good morning, my queen. From now on, simply call me Latifa. Good morning, Latifa. If we don't start heading to Ubri now, it might start raining without notice. So what happened to you last night? Oh, it was nothing. It was just a stupid game pulled up by my secretary. And you gave her the fuck she wanted? I beg your pardon? Pardon my language. What I meant to say is she pulled you away from me and she spent the night with you. Look, I've never slept with any woman in my life. I don't intend to start. At least not with my secretary. Nice to hear. So do you expect me to be something like that? That what? A handsome man of your age has no common knowledge of a woman's body. Really? Come on, boy, you know you can do better than that. Latifa, if it would please you, I'll take my leave now. I'll be waiting for you outside. Please hurry up. You know what will please me? The massage. Very well, then I will inform the hotel manager. They have a world class spa here. Yeah. I have a special oil that I use in a morning. You to give me the massage I want. I have no knowledge of that, I'm just a tour guide. Well, I'll teach you now. down to get a massage therapist. But she had a massage last night. Besides, she told us that one of her aides is a specialist and therefore she will not need our services in that direction anymore. Oh, um... Yes, but she changed her mind. Sean. Yes, sir. Sean? Sir, I... You can even go inside and check. You later, I'm gonna help something. I gave you the chance of your life and you are blowing it away. Look, I have been in this job for 18 good years and I've seen women of high class fall in love with partners and half students. Don't to talk about a charming young one like you. Why? Look, her father, the king. Told me that she's a virgin at her age and will have to return a virgin and marry her husband a virgin according to their tradition. Why did you have to do it? Why? What about my tax form? Why? Why, Sean? I swear I'm not doing it. I don't even know what to do, even if I had to do it. I, 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 Shut up, you fool! It is precautious to mix business and both don't go. Fool! Look, I don't care. I don't want to believe anything. I won't believe anything you say. I should have known that nothing could come out of my You go out of my way. Go! You are still fired! Go out! Go out! Go out! Go out! Why did you guys call me? I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still a virgin. My dream was to be a reverend father. But, but my father kicked against the idea because I was the only child. So he took me from the seminary and he enrolled me in the university. Up until this moment, 
I used to think that the reason why I was not able to make it in life might be connected with my refusal to serve God. Praise God. Are you serious, you I've never slept with a woman before. Since I didn't realize my initial dream, I fell in love with nature and history. That, that's how I find myself. Sorry for calling you an idiot. It's manager. I don't want to be disturbed, right? So, um, what am I going to go out and let you know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry if the intrusion angered you, but please, if I don't get to do this job very well, I don't get paid. And if I don't get paid, I don't get to perform my team. Please, 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 I need to do this job for you. I'm done, Sean. When you're ready with your story, you know where to find it. I'm doing everything possible, waiting for you to notice it. I waited to tell you on your birthday. But instead of spending time with me, you're a father of the team told me that she's a virgin at the gate and will have to repair a virgin and marry her husband a virgin according to their tradition. Why did you have to do it? Why? What about my task force? Why? Why, Sean? I swear I'm not doing it. I don't even know what to do, even if I had to do it. I, 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 Shut up, you! God. Why must I encounter obstacles everywhere I go? If my refusal to be a priest is connected with this, please, please forgive me, Father. All I want is to work and earn a decent living through my work. Father, I beg you, see me through all this. You took over from James this morning, right? Yes, sir. You know, I have been calling his phone the whole morning and uh, it's not going through. Uh, did he tell you anything about our guest from Hyana this morning before he left? No, sir, he didn't. And you see, I've been calling her room and her mobile number and she's not picking any of them. Yeah, sir, the kitchen also reported they did not take their breakfast. Jesus Christ. Um, is Sean around? Yes, sir. He's waiting at the reception. Look, tell him to see me now. Now, now, now.
should have eaten so if she refused to eat. Now my stomach is on fire. Look at you. Aren't she the one pledging having an act to head away one family? If she's happy, all of us should be. If she's sad, all of us should be. That is what love and together is all about. That to go into Kaku, Library Gardens, Amina Castle, or even the irresistible Kwao Mountains. <laughs> Say, but good in your job, son. This will not be the first time a lady will fly 10,600 miles just to come and have a fun here. Hmm? Look, I presume both of you are virgins, and if you need help, I can assist you with some videos of sex for first timers. Anything that will make a father pay me my money is what I will do. Go, oh, son. Say, say, I, I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Go, go. Say, say, Oh. I learnt your mission here was to visit the land of your ancestors and historical places and also visit the grave of the man believed to be your great-grandfather whose history can be traced by and where you come from. You're right. I also learnt that you must marry the future king, your husband, as a virgin, as it is customary in your kingdom. Well, that's what they've been telling me for the past 28 years. Are you trying to tell me that's not what it is? No, I am trying to tell you that I am willing to desecrate this tradition just for you. Meaning? Meaning you're wasting a lot of your time. Sean, I want you to make love to me. Listen, I'm a well-traveled girl. In all the countries I have been to, I have never met anyone that is so enduring, that is so refreshing and vibrant like you. Not in Asia or the Caribbean states or Europe. Not even the king in waiting, my fiance. But you, here in Africa. You're going to get married to a man you know all your life and you're going to do so in a few weeks time. I have never dated nor tasted a woman in my life. So I don't think touching another man's wife is right, let alone see her naked. I allowed you to see me naked. I know coming here will yield my desired results, but maybe it was to meet you, Sean, right there in the forest of prayers, where you told me that my prayers and my wishes could be answered. And over there, I just wanted you to hold me and kiss me and make love to me. I wanted to be lost with the most handsome man that I've ever seen in my life. You know, sometimes our forefathers have a way of bringing what is theirs back home. Look, I just want to complete my job. Get paid so that you can return to your father, the king, and your husband, and the throne. Sean, if you leave, this will be the last thing you'll ever see. What if you leave? Don't please me. It's either you're going to school me or leave this place. Okay, it hasn't come to that. Okay, please, just let us go. I want you to visit all those memorable places before you return. 
I want to make everybody happy and I don't want to ruin anybody's business. What? what? Are you a coward or you're gay? Admit it, you can't handle a woman. Say it. Go on. You know, by dawn I'll be gone. Leave this place. By dawn I'll be gone. Latifa, look, I'm sorry, Latifa. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be I said, don't pick up the damn call. Hello? Don't pick the damn call. Hello? Yes. What, they're shutting out the office? Okay, you know what? I'm coming there right now. I'm going to give them money, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Sean, you are not leaving here until we make love. Call it madness. Call it insanity. Call it infatuation. Call it lust. Call it whatever you want to call it. You're going to make love to me. I want it and I want it now. I am not kidding. I'm serious. Don't say anything. Oh, your highness. Ah, she's having a very good time here. <laughs> Look, she's been to a lot of places. So many places you cannot even imagine. <laughs> oh yes, of course, of course. Oh, the money. <laughs> I, received, I just received the alert. <laughs> Your Highness, look, as I'm speaking to you now, she is touring a very historic site. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. <laughs> she will return intact, very intact. <laughs> of course. The balance. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, your highness. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> that is. <laughs> thank you very much, in French. <laughs> your highness, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, your highness. <laughs> okay, bye bye, your highness. Bye bye. Are you satisfied now? I know that the text is that it actually takes a while to just have a So if this is all what sex is about, why do people immerse themselves deeply into it? Sean, darling, I'm sure after a while you and I actually start to enjoy it. You know our bodies are very warm. You and who? You and I, of course. Because the fun is just beginning. Look, I did this just to please you. And whatever I wanted to achieve, I hope you've achieved it. Sean, you're a real man. I love your warmth and your energy. I love your body smell. I love the way you make me laugh. I love everything about you. Look, I'll be at the reception. My office must have been closed down by now. Needing this. Maybe after now your office will now turn to the girls. What is this?
go. Just the way you wanted it. Oh, don't tell me you're not enthralled devouring the whole princess, the future queen of Hyana, for free. Look, you have to be indebted to me over this for life. I am thinking about quitting today. This is not the reason I took the job. Why? Increase the fee we agreed. Let's stay around and make her happy until she leaves. Sir, my dream is to sell my country through its stories and endowments and tell its history. Not to be turned into a gigolo. No, 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 Sean. It is not like that. It's not like that. See, things happen. I'm sorry. But I just have to quit now. So, Sean, try my job. He had an emergency and I had to see him off, but don't, don't worry. He will be back soon, and, uh, but I suggest you stay indoors until he returns. But he told me he'll be here a few minutes ago waiting. What happened? Nothing. But uh, he had a call. Who called? I don't know, but whatever it is, it was very urgent. You know what? Take me to where he is right now. You guys should stay here. I'll go with his manager alone. Please, my lady. We can't leave you to move about to go. I'll be fine. Mr. Manager, let's go. You can take any small car from the middle. Oh, can I suggest? Oh, hold on. Can I suggest? If we don't find him right now, I will call my father and tell him I'm lying all along. Oh, no, 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 Oh, guy, you be like I leave the thing from my house. Make I use the bike, go carry car right now. Okay, I beg you. I beg you.
once told me that he lives somewhere around here, but uh, you may find the environment somewhat. Uh, you may just not like the environment. I don't care where he lives, just take me to him now. Okay. I don't think we should have allowed her to be alone for any reason. Well, we have stuff and she can be some time. We should do the same thing in Brazil. And let her return on her own after walking out on the Beyonce play. I don't sincerely think she would truly love that guy. Look, I feel she got some interest in that. Call God. Hell no way. Come on. Please. Every woman's a dream. I mean, guy with his royal looks, bearing his wealth. Anybody would jump for a guy. If my mom would jump in, she had a chance. Man, you mixed up. Man. Come on, let's check your manager. I think he's got to see the guy first. It's so long, man. Hi. How are you, man? What? I'm for your life. No, you should have told me earlier that I would have given you more money than you expected from my father. Now, how do I get it back? Well, see, it is quite late now, so um, let's go back. Uh, I will trace his office tomorrow and then we'll be second to our track him now. That would be a very big mistake. How do you mean? She even loves him more than I do. Sometimes I'm even afraid that she's just going to run off and elope with him somewhere.
so her love for me is real. So she would have still given me the ten thousand dollars, even if I didn't sleep with her. But God, 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 am I being unfair to her? This lady and I have no future together. She's a queen. I'm a, I'm a papa. Good. you inside me. Sean, it comes, you made up the whole feeling. Sean, I love you. I am, I am crazy about you. Look at this. Still waiting here, Sean. 
Your Highness, I don't know. We packed all our baggage, but she cancelled everything. Sir, she is not sick. I don't know, Your Highness. All right. I'll let you know, sir. Thank you, sir. Why did you tell me you don't know? Will you tell me you don't know it is because of that Sean guy? Oh, come on. She no longer sleeps in her shield, but in his place, and you say you don't know. And you think I should just tell His Majesty so that his skin has a life on our thing, right? Please, let's go to the room. I want to tell you something. I know your highness, and I have been speaking to her. But what can I do, sir? Yes, sir, I, I, I will see to that. I, I am more confused than you can imagine, with your highness. She cancelled the return herself and, and paid for one more week. When I asked her, she didn't tell me anything. Your Highness, don't, don't be disappointed in me. Oh, I know you'll be getting... Don't be disappointed in me, Your Highness. I know she'll be getting married. Yes. Yes, Your Highness. So, so please, uh, please, don't... No. And I cannot push a, an adult and a personality like her into a plane and sack her from my country. No, I can't do that. Oh, Your Highness, please try to understand me. Oh, oh, understand. Oh, your, your Highness. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the young lady has tasted the forbidden fruit in the land of her ancestors. And only a miracle can make things the same as they were. Thank God, I have the money. <laughs> I have the money. Ashamed and disappointed in you. Daddy, I said I'll be coming home soon. By morning, when I confirm what I'm hearing, you shall receive my email. Daddy. Hello? Daddy. Daddy. Jesus Christ, 
I did this because I love you. I did all of this because I love you. And now this? Don't you dare touch me. You know what? I am going. This is all you've ever wanted. I have done nothing, Sean. I have done nothing but show you true love. All I ever wanted was to be with you. Now look, you know what, do whatever you want, be with whoever you want to be with, I don't even want to hear from you again, it's just, I'm going, don't please, don't talk, please, don't, oh, don't, don't, let go. What a wonderful day. <laughs> My dreams are fun and happy. Oh, sorry. Go and join your father in yeah. his grave. <laughs>
you and whose wedding? And so you stopped you, not stopping me sick. Now I know we have arrived. Indeed, I didn't know Konogo to Accra was this far. It is, especially when it's your first time being here. Anyway, how are you, my son? Well, well, thank you. That's good to know. Okay, now let's go straight to the reason why we are here. It is getting dark, and actually we must go back to Konogo. What is it? The lady that showed us here told us how she did not give you come what you are today. Yet you abandoned her. Who? Wendy, the woman. She came to come here crying. She was saying all sorts of things. She said she helped you become what you are today. Yet you chose to abandon her. She spent two days, and from what we saw, no city girl of this age is as hard working as she is. Well, if I don't believe anything she says, things might not be the way she painted it. As son, you are the only surviving child of our brother Mensa Pepe. We don't care about anything than you hurrying up and marrying that girl and sustaining your lineage. You've already set a date with Wendy and her people for their traditional rites this Saturday. And the court wedding, she told us, is on the 20th. So we have announced to the whole of Congo, men, women, children, elders, and they are warming up. But Uncle, this is not fair. You should have consulted me first before going ahead. He has told us how stubborn you become. You must marry that girl. You must marry that girl. Otherwise, we'll go and marry her for you and bring her here. And if we don't see you in court on 20th, we'll go and bring the whole of Konongo to come here until you agree to marry her and continue your lineage. Exactly. You can't be alive and see your lineage extinct when you are healthy. Never! Never! Let's go. We are going. I will bring you back here.
Very surprising. So you finished with this? I'm very sorry. I'm just trying as much as possible to make myself happy. Life is too short. But why are you so moody? Sir, I should call this engineer. Oh. Resist every communication that I get from her name. The normal with which her father used to contact me is not going to. Start for her, I don't have a number. I never knew how much she meant to me till she was gone. Come on, John. You made over $40,000 from her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sold all the gold she came with. I don't need to put the money she had. I'll give it to you. I made only $20,000 out of my $50,000 target. There's no reason why I should be moody. Just go and settle down with your girl, Wendy. Well, go ahead. I'm crazily in love with Latifa. And I don't think I can live without her. If you can contact anybody in Ayana, Tell the person to tell her to please just return my calls or my emails. Else I'm gonna to go to Hyana and I'm gonna be with her no matter what the consequences will be. Mm. There is a map of Hyana. Right in the middle there. The palace where she must be living in the house. Right beside it is the central prison built on a very large lake where they breed wild crocodiles and they feed them with criminals and intruders just as you want to be. So, are you saying I'm not going to see her again? And I'll be thrown in prison if I go? I'm worried is I don't know this man you want to marry and yet it is fixed for Saturday why um, mom he's he's a very very busy person see his his job carries him abroad most of the time at least as much as he can be here I'm sure he's going to be here okay, he's a very very lovely person he loves me so much oh yes I know he loves you very very much but at least He's supposed to be calling me as his mother-in-law. Okay, okay. I'm going to make sure you talk to him the next time he calls. Yes. <laughs> so can I go to bed now? Okay, why not? All right, good night. Good night. Latifa, darling, I know you are enjoying your marriage and coronation by now, but I'm in pain. The pain you created by allowing me to taste your womanhood and making me fall in love with you. Now I'm in limbo and about to marry the woman that says she loves me, that I never loved. You did your father's wish by marrying the grave, and I'm also going to do my own uncle's wish by marrying Wendy sustain my lineage. I know you will not reply this as usual, but on the 20th, I'm going to be tied to Wendy and I will live the rest of my life in pain knowing that I can never love anyone like I loved you.
Hey, Julius. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I'm so excited. And yes, tomorrow, it's tomorrow. I just wanted to, to remind you that you should be there tomorrow because tomorrow is a very big day for you, okay? <laughs> yes, I'm at the salon. I'm fixing my hair. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm going to call the other girls and tell them right now. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm at the salon fixing my hair. Yes, don't forget about tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is a big day. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, everything is ready, everything is good, everything is fine. Just be there, alright? Yeah, yeah, I've called the other girls already. They all be there, yes. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Bye! Hey, buddy! Vanessa! <laughs> no, no, wait, before you say anything else, let me just remind you about tomorrow. Make sure you come there. Yes, at the same time, nothing has changed, everything is on point. <laughs> yeah! Yes! So happy! <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Sorry, Wendy, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Hmm? You must do crazy. You did a crazy thing by wanting to marry a man who does not love you. I'm crazy about you. I never thought this would happen. I never thought this would happen.
of it this way. It's simple and quiet. I never knew how much I loved you till you left. I don't give up everything you gave me. Just a few words. wife has dumped me because of her but I know one thing for sure I know that she loves you she loves you so much but I don't know what he has done to her I just don't get it please take your wife and let me have my life you charmed her right And now he has extorted all the money. But I don't know why. I don't know why he wouldn't let her marry you. I can't fathom it. I don't know why. And when I asked him, he said he's not done with her yet. What? That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit! You know, I feel like exploding right now. Well, this is his plan. This is what he wants to do. He's not done with her yet. Can you take me to wherever you take me with me? With pleasure. Let's go.
Starting money from her? I thought you were some kind of superman or something. I never knew you were just an ordinary chef. Wait, get out of here now! Oh, what? You fool! Did you just call me a fool? Who the hell do you think you are? Who made you? I have never loved you, fool. Since I discovered you murdered and raped your father's mate and buried her in the bush. I have despised you since. And I assure you that you have a lot of explaining to do with the police. You're just ranting out of the child you used to turn your brain. You don't even know what you're saying. You don't have a proof, do you? You think so? You really think so? Her body was exhumed and the forensics are at work. I personally reported to the police. And your accomplice who told us a month ago showed us the scene and is helping the police with the investigation. This is your ploy just to leave me and be with this idiot, right? You are mine. Even as a murderer, you were still with me. You were supposed to be my queen, if not for the father you came to Africa and he charmed you. But that's the reason I came here in the first place. To think and know what's good for me. And thank God he answered my prayers. Because I wouldn't have met Sean. I was only with you because I wanted to keep my father's wishes. And what? Keep the heritage of Hyena. But what about me? Huh? Gray, what about me? What about how I feel? My feelings, my heart? You are such an arrogant idiot. And you will go to jail. Arrogant idiot. You wanna mess with me, huh? You messing with me? We prepared for war. The two of you. We prepared for war. I'll be back. Danger, what do we do? Relax. I am Queen Latifah. The woman who loves you. Just calm down. Sean, Gray and his rogues are criminals and they deserve to be in jail. So there's nothing for you to worry about. There's a lies ahead of us. Good things! Good things in the midst of this. Listen, Sean, I am going to be the queen of Diana, and you are going to be the next king of Diana. Can you just stop the jokes? I'm thinking about where we're going and how we're going to get there and how we're going to be safe and you're talking about... My father called me this morning and he told me that the police have declared Gray and his rogues wanted you. And the Hyenese police have already called their Ghanaian counterparts and they're on their trail. And he doesn't even know it. You know, finding someone like this can sometimes be very, very difficult. can be very easy. You know, he's a foreigner in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's pray he ends up on the usual place. Since 
money, these guys couldn't even call me and kill me. Where the hell in this town would they be that they couldn't even find them? Relax. They will capture them, take your wife and go. I know these guys. They are my area guys, okay? They are very specialized in these things. Hmm? Speak. Sir, they escaped. The boys are inexperienced. We were almost caught by the police. Are you sure of what you say? Yes, sir. The messages will leave town. The police may be trailing us. So what are we going to do? This whole thing is turning out to be a great adventure. You don't seem bothered about this misadventure. Does anything bother you at all? It used to, but the thing is, ever since I met you, I'm at peace with myself. Peace? You find peace in the midst of this danger? Sean, I'd rather be with you in this world than to be without you in paradise. Latifa. Our love is being threatened, man. And we don't even know where we are. We don't even know where we're going. We don't even know how we are going to survive it. Why are you giving up on us so fast? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? You've done so much for me, and I have a feeling you're going to give up my own life. I hope to get to my grandmother's village. I doubt if you'll be able to survive the whole day. Do human beings live there? Of course. Then we can live and survive there. In fact, we can be anywhere. Just calm down. Okay? Thank you, kiss. Please. Sean, come on. Setting in on them. No, but he has a which one. So what are these guys just now? Tactics 21. Let's lay low with our heads high. Search for the object with precision and hit on sight. Do you think it's a good idea, Captain? This guy in question is described by his captain police as very routine and tactical. As a foremost control leader in the army. Do you think we can apprehend him with such tactics? No, I think we should risk the guy. We can't do anything like this night. Let's search for the origin of this fire and pass the night there. Then tomorrow, we can call headquarters and then reinforce the new strategy. Let's go. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I can't believe you escaped that bad business. My heart really fell out. Oh, come on, Sean. Where is Wolf's car now? I love this beer and it's made from heaven. Nothing can separate them. So come here, come here. 
hug. <sighs> You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Of course. I said kiss me! Stop it! Worshipping the devil. Here am I in Africa, lost in a garden bush, being chased by some fucking cats. They must surely pay with their lives. That bitch and that moron, you pay with your lives. Yes, Your Highness. My men are on it. They will surely have to What of my lovely daughter? I don't want any harm to befall her, please. There are first to you now, Your Honor. We have to tell them that they are hiding within a sand forest area. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot you don't know the area. But what I'm saying, where they are hiding, we have our men from north, east, and south. And 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, the helicopter just left. And we solicited for the assistance of the Navy and local fishermen. There is no way he can escape. I assure you, Your Highness. So, what of my daughter? As of now, we have a certain uh, aware about the robber. But the young man knows looks and corners of the country. I believe they are hiding somewhere. If you help return my daughter safely, I promise you a reward of fifty thousand dollars. Your Highness, if I can come to that, we are pleased with your country, and uh, we are working with your local police and the Interpol. Mm. Yeah. So don't worry, relax. We have had so many complicated issues more than this. Ghana police is very, very effective, and we are up to. I'm assuring you. I'll call you in two hours' time to find out. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Inspector Mamba. What is the situation report over there? There's no sign of a village nearby. If we're on the right track, we should have crossed the Vimba River by now. <laughs> God bless this day, Sean. Sean, we are lost. But I'm lost with the man that I love. Lost in this forest, where the birds are singing beautiful songs. Lost away from the world and its troubles. But the man who means the world to me, the one who makes me happy, the one that I love. It loves to be. Look, Bativa. 
I no longer think you're normal. What is wrong with you? We're going to die here of hunger if we don't find a way. Look at what you're talking about. Maybe listen, there's always a way. If we can find a way to each other's hearts and love, then we can find a way to anywhere. So just stop worrying and give me a kiss. Come here, come give me a kiss. Make love to me. That will be in hell. I always know I will find it you and blow out your brains. Please don't harm her, okay? I'd rather lose her to you than see anything harm her. Please, look, just, just, just shoot me, shoot me, and you can have it. Please, just, just shoot me, please. I beg you, just don't do anything to her. I beg you, please. So you love this bitch this much, but you know, I still have some sense of taste in me. I would not for once touch this edible meat you've desecrated. But I will not let you go because you, you related and brought me to this condition. Shoot us! Do your worst! Is that all you can do? Go on! Shoot us! But when you shoot us and we die, we will still love each other, even in paradise. Who do you think you are? Go on! If you don't shoot us, you will be a loser! Loser! Shoot us! Shoot us! Is that all you can do? Find a gun? Pull the trigger, loser! Shut up! Pull the trigger! Do your worst! What can you do? You dare spit on me? You lost it. Yes, Your Highness. This is not beyond us. Your Highness, I'm assuring you there's no foul play anywhere here. The colonel driver just informed us that he saw her with a, with a, with a lover crossing the Vimpa River in the company of a hunter. Yes, Your Highness. What we are trying to do now is just to, to, to track down the hunter. Your Majesty, you know Gray was a former military officer, so tracking him down won't be all that easy. Can I ask any my chief of staff down to Accra? If you people cannot find my daughter, he will. Your Majesty, it hasn't come to that. Please give us up to tomorrow. We are trying our best so that we can... He's leaving the palace now and will be on the next available flight to Accra. Don't bother receiving him. He knows his way to everywhere in the world. Your Majesty? Okay. Hello? Hello? Love is the most sweetest thing in the world. Sweet as it is. It's the most bitter. The most dangerous. Depend on 
a contest surrounding it. You live here, yet you sound so educated. Love brought me here. I lost the only woman I love most. In a bizarre way. Oh, why? What happened? I was poor. The parents never wanted us to marry. In order to marry her, I went to the Middle East. I was involved in dubious activities. Eventually, I made a lot of money. But when I came back, she had killed herself. I was told the parents forced her to marry a man she didn't love. And in order not to marry him, she killed herself. I was told she would have run with me to anywhere just to be with me. So why did you come here then? I found out that life is no longer worth living again. I came to this bush to commit suicide. Another hunter rescued me and taught me how to hunt. And I decided not to go back to the city. But rather die here in honor of her. So you guys should go and conquer every obstacle for the sake of your love. Thank you. So what do we call you? Abankwa. It was good. <laughs> Thank you. That's the way I live here. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I love you. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me guess this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I am Jerry Jones, the Chief of Staff to His Highness, King Kevin Mambas, the King of the Kingdom of Ayala. I am here in reference to our Queen in Waiting, Latifa. I see. I was told she was dug here on her first visit. Alright. What was your role in her meeting the guy that defied her? The young man did not defile her. He had sex and now in hell. Sex! Defilement! Devouring! Hungry! Hungry! Scurry! All I want to know is your role. Well, I only provided her with accommodation and took care of her by making her happy as demanded by His Highness the Father the King. Can you show me the seat she stayed? No pleasure. If someone predicted this, I wouldn't have believed this guy in question is a former military commando. But still, how can he be lost in this bush without traces? I mean, how can you cross the waters and the mountains without the helicopters spotting him? Once a soldier, always a soldier. Guys, let's come south. Oh, my God. 
all this hated African refused to come here. Because of this damn bitch, I came here and this is what I get. This is what I fucking got. Boss, something tells me that we stay have 100% chance of claiming the throne. Once we return to Hyena, we just murder the king and you'll be in store. She lost it all when she returned to that wretched guy. Boss, if we find our way out of this bush, I suggest we hit these guys as women and hit the airport and back to Hyena and then they made the king. Same way we did to the girl who claimed we raped her. You guys, you guys have great plans and we're going to execute it as soon as we can. Uh, yes, uh, Your Highness. I'm on my way to the north. Uh, yes, sir. From the information I got, it, the only possible place she might end up with the guy is the guy's grandmother's village. Oh, gosh. My daughter in the village in Africa? Doing what? That's what I'm here to find out. I'll, I'll, I'll keep in touch. Good luck, Jesse. Your Majesty, you know I don't believe in luck. It's either I get it right or wrong. Okay. Whatever it is, just bring it back for me, please. Oh, okay, Your Highness. Okay. Thank you. Go down there. Cross the street. Follow the tiny path. Release your grandmother. Thank you so much. May God be with you. Be with you. Your love is so
against my well-trained guards and an ex-soldier. Walk away, Wendy. The person I seek to kill is that cockroach called Sean and the bitch. Not you. I think I told you this guy is not funny. <laughs> but you're so stupid, you couldn't even realize that I have Sean and Latifa in my custody. And when I'm done with you guys, I'll think of what to do to them next. <laughs> see, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. You guys are dumb. You guys just don't think. You're just empty bowels walking the air. I was trailing you, and I took the bullets off your guns whilst you guys slept last night. Oh, yes. And I have a hand on the incriminating information you had in your pocket. Just let us go, please. I beg of you, please. So now that he's been arrested for murder and rape, are you gonna come back with me to my to be the future king? You already are not with me, you want anything to be with. 